Hi everybody, I'm back with one of my favorite videos to film and that's um, Empties video. This is a really great um, type of video to make because A, I always feel like I'm accomplishing something when I fill up this bag with stuff. I mean, I never go, oh wow, this is so excessive. I always think, hey, good for me, I'm actually using my products. And I've been filming a lot more of these lately because instead of having lots of products on the go, I've been trying over the last several months to just have, you know, one or two of each thing and then just use them up till they'll go, till, until blah, blah, until blah, 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 blah until they're gone. Uh, and that way I just, I feel like, uh, I really get to use a product and enjoy a product because I find when you have so many things on the go and you're bouncing back and forth, A, it takes forever to use up something, and B, I feel like I never get a real appreciation. Um, sorry, somebody was texting me as I'm talking to you. You don't really get a real appreciation for each product because you're using 16 others at the same time. So I just, as I said before, I just keep a little bag hanging up in my bathroom, behind my bathroom door. I fill it up and when it's full and it's banging me on the knee when I'm trying to go pee and crashing into the wall in the middle of the night, I know it's full and it's time to um, do a video. So first up is a small size of the Market Peach scented candle from Bath and Body Works. And it didn't take me long to, um, to go through this. The Market Peach is just a lovely scent. I always love Bath & Body Works candles. I think that they burn better than other candles and they're better scented without being too overpowering. Um, the only thing that I would say, I don't know if I would buy these little um, one wick ones that are six fifty each, I think, or something like that, or you can usually get them like three for ten. I just found that they didn't scent the room as much as the uh, three wick or two wick. Three wick? Three wick candles do. Um, <clears throat> but you know what? They make cute little gifts, and I went through it fairly quickly, so it allows you to try more scents. And the other candle that I went through uh, was one that I got at Christmas time, and I got at Winners. Nope. I got it in the States at TJ Maxx. And it was called Illuminations. The brand was like looks like that. And called Ooh, sorry. Illuminations. And this was cheaper than the Bath and Body Works option, but unlike a lot of other scented candles, this one was really well scented. Um, as I said, around, I think it was around $10, so a really good price point. Uh, the scent I had was cinnamon bark, and I burned it all the way through December and just finished it off actually in April. And it was just a really beautiful cinnamon smell without being too sickly, cinnamony, just really nice and, and cozy smelling. And the great thing about these candles is you can clean them out just actually much easier to clean out this Illuminations candle than it was to clean out the Bath and Body Works candles. So uh, anyway, I'm kind of rambling and getting off topic, but you can always clean out these jars and use them for other purposes like holding your nails, your makeup brushes in, or um, like I'm using mine to hold little nail polishes. So two candles that I went through. Next up is a Dial Healthy Moisture Restoring Body Wash with soy and almond milk. And I'm trying to remember, this one was nice. Mm, really nice sweet smell. I'm a really big fan of these Dial body washes. I just like how um, nice and slippery smooth they make my skin feel. Um, and the, the scents are really nice. And they're very inexpensive. They come in at under $4. So this was the Healthy Moisture Restoring Body Wash. Okay, something that has to come in a partnership is the Pantene Daily Moisture Renewal um, Conditioner and Shampoo. This is just basically, the I've been using some variation of the Pantene Moisturizing Shampoo off and on since I was in high school. I find it works really well for my hair. I don't find, a lot of people find it too heavy, like it makes their hair feel too greasy. I don't find that. It makes my hair nice and, and slippery. Of course, now is not a good time to tell because I need to get it colored so it's feeling a little bit coarse. But I just find that, um, and I've said before, after going through about a year and a half or two years of having massive hair fallout with my hair and trying all different kinds of, you know, sulfate-free shampoos, uh, non-sulfate-free shampoos, this type of shampoo, $30 shampoo, $3 shampoo, all different kinds, I just came to the conclusion that Pantene 
um, just works best for my hair. I don't have as much fallout. I just have normal, I've always had like normal, you know, the average range they say is like 50 to 100 hairs a day. Always had that my entire life. Uh, the only difference is now as I'm a little bit older, I'm just not getting that regrowth that you got when you were a kid. But I did notice a dramatic change in my hair when I went back to using Pantene. So I'm now a believer in that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm a really big fan of those. Uh, the Shea Cashmere Body Lotion and Shower Cream from Bath & Body Works. This is a little set that I got in the clearance um, at Bath & Body Works like after Christmas in January when they were getting rid of all their gift sets. And I'm so proud of myself, ooh, sorry, for being able to go through a body lotion. I have never in my entire lifetime used a body lotion all the way from start to finish before, you know, throwing it out because it had been sitting in my, in my cupboard for too long. But I made a point of every day getting it, like leaving this on my counter in the bathroom. Because what I usually do with uh, lotions is, you know, I buy a lotion and I put it underneath my sink and then I forget to use it. So I put this right out. So as soon as I got out of the shower, it was there. I put this on every single morning, and it took me about two months to get through it. It was 236 mils. And uh, the Shea Cashmere is such... What I love about it is it's got the most amazing smell. It just smells really luxurious and, and luxe and just very, like, sweet. Uh, I'm not sure what the scent... where the scent comes from. Oh, here we go. Tahitian Vanilla whipped shea and golden amber so it's just oh i love this um our revolutionary spa formula combines rich moisturizing african shea butter with luxurious cashmere extract okay so i'm pretty sure that cashmere is wool from some sort of goat that climbs in the mountains of like Tibet or someplace and so I'm pretty sure that there's no such thing as cashmere extract so I just love marketing. Anyway, very nice. Um, the shower cream felt a little bit too much like bathing with body lotion so I wasn't the biggest fan of that one but it did feel really nice and luxurious when I was using it and their products always lather up really nice and, and leave you feeling nice and scented and moisturized. And the moisturizer was the same. It went on really easily, uh, soaked into the skin nicely, didn't leave me feeling greasy or sticky. The only thing is, I just found like using it every single day, um, you know, it felt really nice going on and everything, but I don't really feel like it did anything for my dry skin, if that makes any sense. Like after it soaked in and after using it for days on end, I don't feel like it was improving the quality of my skin. It just felt nice. And there's a lot of ingredients in here, so I'm not sure if I will go back to that. Because as I said, I don't really feel like it did anything for my dry skin. Next up, another body wash. This is the Satsuma. Oh, you can't see. It's the, oh, can you? Yeah. The Satsuma shower gel from uh, Body Shop. There's still just the tiniest amount in there, but I can't. I was trying to get it to come out. I guess I should just tip it over and do this. So I got, I think I might have room for one more shower in here. Uh, this is an iconic scent from Body the Body Shop. It's one of those ones that I feel like every year at Christmas time, somebody either, you know, I either buy a, a gift set of the Satsuma for someone or someone buys it for me. Uh, really nice, a little bit pricier. Uh, it's a soap-free cleansing system. I, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. It's just one of those things that I never purchase for myself because I don't have to. Somebody always buys me a gift set. Shampoo. This is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Color Renew Tone Correcting Shampoo. This is the shampoo that is purple. And even though it says for sheer blondes, this is excellent. I find for anybody who has a little bit of red in their hair or lighter highlights. So uh, even though I'm fairly dark brown, I'm more like a... You know, I kind of fluctuate between like medium brown and medium golden brown, and I've got quite a bit of red in my hair, and I've got a lot of um, white in my hair as well, so that has a tendency to go really brassy. So this just tones down brassiness. If you have blonde hair and, you know, use a lot of it frequently and leave it in your hair for long periods of time, I have heard that it has a tendency to dye your hair slightly, like it will change the color of your hair because it is, it's purple. It's like, 
violet for sure. But uh, other than that, it doesn't uh, color brown hair at all, but it just tones down that brassiness. So it's something really good to try. I just really liked this. I love the smell of it. I love the feel of it. It left my hair feeling really nice, and it really did work to neutralize the brassiness. I feel that pretty much every time I do one of these videos, there's a Trust May hairspray in here, which is strange because they are so huge. Like, that is a really big can, and I go through them like a crazy. Um, Tresemme is pretty much the only hairspray that I buy because I just feel like I get the results that I want and the price point's amazing. It's under five dollars or like around five dollars depending on where you're getting it and it's just great. This one is the Climate Control Level 4 Climate Protection Extra Hold Fights Humidity UV Rays Static and Wind. I feel like I've talked about this one before. I'm not sure. Is this like the second one of these that I've put in here? I don't know. Anyway, this one was okay, but it's not my favorite. The green two, the green can, the tray two, that one's my favorite. So in my quest to kind of go a little bit more natural where I can in my skincare, I fell in love with coconut oil. And I actually bought this to cook with because you can make the best buttercream icing ever with coconut oil. And, you know, as everybody says, always make sure that you're getting fresh pressed virgin coconut oil. And I went one step further to make sure that I was getting fair trade um, stamped with the USDA organic label. So, and I bought it from a health food store. Um, a can or a jar this size, uh, what is this, 14 fluid ounces, runs you anywhere from $8 all the way up to like $15 to $20, depending on how, you know, varied the pedigree is, I guess. But this is just Dr. Bronner's. <laughs> Gotta make sure you get that R in there, or else you've got Dr. Boner's Magic All-in-One Fair Trade and Organic Fresh, fresh Pressed virgin coconut oil. Okay, so there's lots of videos out there on the internet of all the things that you can do with coconut oil. And basically it comes, you know, like when it's at room temperature, it's in a solid form. You can heat it up and melt it. You can use it for um, cooking your popcorn, as I said, as a replacement for butter. Um, I love using it to saute shrimp, uh, but then you can use it in the bathroom. So it works as a uh, facial cleanser, uh, if you've ever used like a balm cleansing, like the Clinique All um, Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm that, you know, starts off in a solid form and then melts into your skin, uh, it works very, very well for that. I have tried using olive oil to take off my makeup and I found that it really stung my eyes and things like that, so I really didn't like olive oil. The coconut oil, I can use, I love it because of the fact that it starts off solid. So it just, it's, you know, like I said, it's a bomb consistency and then you just massage it into your eyes. Then I get my hands wet and I massage my face again and that kind of like loosens up all the, um, all the makeup and it comes right off. You can use it as a moisturizer, you can use it in your hair, you can use it on your lips, you can use it for all kinds of things. Apparently you can use it as a personal lubricant. I just find that a little weird. Um, I have to admit that um, because it does have that pure coconut smell, I kept getting, like in my brain, I kept getting, you know, the kitchen mixed up with the bathroom. And so as I'm washing my face, it's like, it just feels very weird to wash your face and smell the smell that you smell when you're cooking shrimp, if that makes any sense. So I had a little bit of an issue there, but that was my own like mental hang up. As a product, I think it's amazing. I mean, for $12, I get something that's a moisturizer, a cleanser, you know, a conditioner, all different things. So it's an excellent product to try out if you want to go in that direction of, you know, um, just using pure ingredients on your face. And I can attest that it works. I'm gonna finish off. I've got a handful of things here. Um, <clears throat> the only one that's not completely empty is this one. This is the Maybelline New Instant Age, Re Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer with Goji Berry and Haloxyl. Oh, God, I don't know who names products, but they must get paid for every word, you know, so every product has 16 letter like 16 words attached to it anyway this is the one with the little you know sponge you twist up the top and dab it on your under eye circles this one is number 60 the brightener so it's it's really light and has a pink tone to it show you 
And I find, so, you know what, if you had, like, medium tone skin, that would, like, really show up almost, I, I would think it might even be too white, but anyway, it's got kind of like a peachy pink um, undertone to it, works really well for brightening under the under eye area. The reason why I'm getting rid of it now, um, even though it's, I've still got a little bit in it, uh, is... You know, just using my Maybelline Fit Me concealer in number 15, I've just been really enjoying that much more. I find that this one's actually more drying that, than that one. I find that it's a little bit too drying. It sits in my pores a little much. Um, so I prefer the Maybelline Fit Me. and But this is still, you know, a good one to try, especially if you don't have as, as dry skin as I do. Okay, next up, lastly, is all mascaras. Uh, this... Organic wear, wait, okay. So we've got the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Fake Out Mascara in Ultra Black. And I loved this. I thought that it was just amazing. Problem that I've been having lately, um, over the last two years, my eyes have gotten really, really dry. They water a lot, but they're really dry so it's to the point where I can't wear my contacts because my contacts basically stick to my eyeballs I know that's gross a little bit too much information right but the point is uh, I'm finding pretty much I used to be able to wear any mascara no problem at all but I'm finding with my eyes being so dry all the time every mascara that I put on like irritates my eyes so I was really surprised to find out that this um, this does not I haven't tried the one in the green tube yet uh, but this one was really good. I really liked it. I liked the fact that it was, you know, all natural. Um, but yet it didn't feel wimpy. You know how sometimes you put on like natural makeup products and it's like there's no color. They don't do anything for you. Just, you know, it's just like meh. Uh, this I found really made my lashes dark. I It didn't smudge. Just stayed really nice and black all day long. Very nice and volumizing and defining and blah, blah, blah. It's got a really interesting little um, brush head on there. It's rubber, but I don't think it's rubber. I think it's made out of some other material. But nicely spaced little bristles on there. Really nice. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Dried out quickly, and here in Canada, especially at the drugstore, astronomically expensive. It's like $15 to $20 at the drugstore. I have seen it, though, yay, at Walmart for $10. And in the States, you can get it for around $8. So that's really good. And to be fair, a lot of times Physicians Formula has like 20 to 40% off sales here in Canada at the drugstore. Just have to wait for it. But um, as I said, haven't tried the one in the green tube, but I really liked this one. So if you've been watching me and you kind of know what kind of mascaras I like and you like the same ones, try this. Next up, a little sample size of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Really liked this. Um, I put it in a review when I was doing all of my uh, mascara m m bleh, mascara roundup. It's just like a natural, old-fashioned bristle brush. Uh, this was really, really good. Probably won't repurchase because the price point's too high for me, but I thought it was a really good mascara. So if you like expensive mascaras, you can give that one a whirl. Uh, this is the My Prestige My Blackest Lashes Intense black volume mascara and this is one that I've used in the past and really loved it's just a very intense black mascara uh, it volumizes that it's just a really really nice mascara unfortunately using it this time it's really irritating my eyes I'm just it's just uh, it's really bugging me so I've I've had to you know stop using it which is really sad because I loved it so that one actually wasn't empty. It was kind of full. Another empty one, though, is the Buxom... What is this one? The Buxom Lash from Bare Essentials. This is another great one. I really like this one. I use this one until it's all gone. It's got a really interesting kind of peanut-shaped head on it. Um, just gave me really nice defined and lengthened lashes as well as volume in there. Uh, but again, won't repurchase just because of the price point. I like my drugstore mascaras a lot. Um... And then another favorite, love this one. This is the Colossal, the Volume Express, no, the Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes Mascara from Maybelline. This has got a little curved brush on it. 
It does a fantastic job of lengthening, defining, separating, fanning out, and volumizing your lashes. Um, this is my favorite out of all of the Maybelline um, Volume Express lashes, um, mascaras, and one of my top three mascaras from the drugstore of all time. And voila, that's that. Those are all my empties. Uh, I get to fill this up again. Yay, and we'll see you soon.